the Australian dingo fence. How many fences do you know of? Have you ever reflected on the variety of materials used to make a fence? Fences are made from strong materials. But what is the purpose? To keep things in and out of boundaries. So many fences, but one dingo problem. Dingo Fence Australia, totally amazing. A remarkable 5,614 kilometres long. Totally outrageous, not everybody knows about it. A start length six feet high. Travels through three states. Now, Dingo Fence, you'll lose all this. Any fence stays, sis fence. It's remarkable that diggers originally came from Asia. Who would have thought that? A natural predator. Dingoes, a problem for tourism. Damaging to farmers. A digger sells wildest dog. Unpredictable behaviour. Illegal to own. Never to be trusted. Dingoes may look cute, but they're vicious. Is the dingo fence worth it? It may cost the country around 10 million a year to maintain. And even though city dwellers may not appreciate the fence, it is vital to Southern Australians. The fence creates jobs for the maintenance. It holds the profitability of farmers and guarantees safer tourism experiences. Worth it? Definitely. This is with the Nego fence. Sure we know. Dingo numbers are up and they hunt impacts according to Macumba Station Manager Eddie Nunn. He's displeased with stop losses and injuries to his cattle and calves. Baiting helps reduce dingo population, but the fence is a tremendous barrier, as he explains. Don't let the farmers down. Maintain the fence. Wild animals can't be domesticated. Stop the interaction between dingoes and humans and decrease the attacks. Dingo breeding is illegal for a reason. Without the fence, tourism on the EP would decrease rapidly. The freedom to safely camp and interact with the environment is gone. Dingo attacks would be more frequent in South Australia without the strategic location of the fence. It's more than a dingo fence. Overfell animals are a major problem causing millions of dollars damage to our agricultural industries. shameful how thorough animals damage plant regrowth and cause the extinction of local plants. No dingo fence means feral animals compete with and eat all of the livestock's feed and worse, the livestock. We strongly urge continued maintenance and funding of this iconic Fence matters. No fence potentially means less livestock export overseas or less meat for human consumption. No fence means unsafe camping situations within southern Australia. No fence could drastically reduce tourist numbers which can potentially impact on EP tourism opportunities. This fence should matter to everyone!